In this video, I'm going to be ranking the top five cards at each position right now in NBA 2K23. My team, so the top five point guards, the top five shooting guards, the top five small forwards, the top five power forwards, and the top five centers currently right now in my team. But let me know in the comment section down below before we get into my rankings. Let me know your favorite card at each position. And also let me know what you guys would change about my top fives. But at the number uh, one spot, I will say, actually, we'll start with number five. We'll start with number five for the point guards and go five to one. I think the fifth best point guard in the game, it really just comes down to like four five six names i mean for me i'll probably go Devin booker just because of his offensive ability whether it's the moments one or what sorry whether it's the playoffs one or whether it's the high res one doesn't really matter i'll just throw the high res one because he is from the content drop and the promo packs be a high res uh d book i think is the fifth best point guard in the game like i did mention i think there's so many different names that you can say for that fifth spot whether you want to go you know scotty barnes you want to go sangoon you want to go ben simmons magic johnson luke wall you know lamella ball lonzo ball i think there's so many good point guards that could be at number five for me though i will go with devin booker just because of his offensive play he's got a great jump shot good dribble six and i think overall he's probably the fifth best point guard in the game i think top four for me personally is pretty i would say easy in order at number four i do have the dark matter Cade. i think he's a really good point guard i still feel like he's a little bit underrated a lot of people don't like this card for me personally i do think he's a really good six foot eight point guard i don't like his jump shot as much as i thought i would it's not like the best release in the game but he's still six foot eight with a seven foot one wingspan also his defense isn't like super elite it's not as good as i thought it would be i thought he'd be a much better defender because of the height and the wingspan but still all around i think kate has got good dribble six great at going to the basket and he's six foot eight at the one so i do think Cade is going to be the fourth best point guard at the number five uh, three spot for me personally is going to be jimmy butler i used to think Cade was better than jimmy i keep putting the wrong ones because the playoff ones do pop up first but yeah, I, do, I did used to think that Cade was better than Jimmy, but now that I've used Cade more and I've tried him out a lot in Unlimited, I think Jimmy Butler, he just has that like, I don't know, like just that in-game defense where their stats might not be too much of a difference. You know they're all around stats but for whatever reason jimmy butler in game just plays such good defense and i feel like he's also a lot quicker with the ball in his hands Cade does feel super sluggish out of uh, uh, as a point guard he just really doesn't feel super quick so jimmy feels a lot better at least a lot faster and i also do like his jump shot a tad bit more so i feel like it's still pretty close between jimmy and Cade. but i would say all around jimmy butler is the third best point guard in the game at the number two spot i do have the galaxy simple sean livingston i mean and you still can make an argument that jimmy is better than Livingston I just like Sean a little bit more because of his all-around play and just all around he is such a good offensive card now, he's six foot seven at the point guard spot with a six foot eleven wingspan you take a look at the stats I mean besides the 85 block this card is super well-rounded and super complete he's got a great jump shot with the JT Thor base it's basically the lamella ball base said he Osman up are super good on very quick timing and then he also does have like the Trey escape the Kyle Lowry size up which is on so many cards nowadays and then um and then he also does have the front clutches so for me I do think Sean Livingston is the second best point guard in the game right behind the most expensive card and I would say overpriced just because there's no way we should be paying 3 million plus MT for a card in my team this card literally goes for 2.5 to 3 million on Xbox currently maybe it'll go down over the next couple of days but he is just so overpriced I do think he's the best point guard in the game is he worth picking up I would say most likely not unless you have like billions basically of mt i just don't think it's going to be worth uh getting this card either grind for sean livingston just pay the three four five hundred k for jimmy butler i think any of these top five point guards or top four besides jordan i think are way better value cards that you guys should be going after but you just got to say jordan is the best point guard in my team i mean he's six foot six perfect all-around stats tons of hall of fame badges including 40 of them which is the most in the game currently and then he's got a great jump shot with the kpj base and the mp uh, uh, the kpj base and the michael jordan up around very quick timing and then he's also got very good dribble six with the kyle lowry size up and the trey young escape which they just love giving to every single card in the game but yeah these are going to be my top five point guards mj sean livingston jimmy Caden booker going from one to uh one through five now talking about the top five shooting guards at the number five spot but once again, I think there's so many different names you can go over. So I'm actually going to start off here going from best to worst, you know, one through five. So the best shooting guard, in my opinion, is going to be the Dark Matter Terry Dishinger. Now him and T-Mac, I think are 1A and 1B. I just like Terry a tad bit more because of the fact that if you can time his release, which is quicker, I think he does get his jump shot up a lot faster, which can be super helpful for those contested shots. And then he's also got this Steve Francis size up, which is way better than the Tracy McGrady size up is what T-Mac has. So dribbling wise, 
of movement. I think Terry's a little bit quicker with the ball in his hands because of this defense to size up. And I do think his jump shot is slightly better if you know how to green a super quick jump shot and can get used to his release. But both are amazing, amazing shooting guards. And like I said, I do think they're 1A and 1B. I don't think really too many people would argue with T-Mac and Terry being the two best shooting guards in the game. At the number two spot, I will be going with the Dark Matter Steve Smith. I feel like he's still such an all-around beast. And he's on that like Tracy McGrady level. I'm not going to sit here and say he's better than T-Mac. But I mean, for being a free card, he's not that much worse than Tracy McGrady. Being 6'8 with a 6'10 wingspan, pretty much perfect stats. He's got tons of good Hall of Fame shooting badges, tons of good Hall of Fame defensive ones. And then you take a look at the animations. He's got the exact same six as most of the great cards in the game. The Trey Young Escape, the Kyle Lowry Size Up. And then I do think he's got a great jump shot as well. It's a super quick release with that Lamella Ball base. So I think all around Steve Smith is going to be the uh, third best shooting guard in the game. At number four, I do have the Galley Slipper Ricky Davis. I just think offensively, he's an absolute bucket and just all around still one of the better offensive cards and one of the best three hunting cards in the game. So for me personally, I do think Ricky Davis does, you know, kind of fill in at that number four spot. You could maybe go number five, like I did mention. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure who to go with at number five because there is so many different names that you can mention. Even card like uh, cards like Billy Knight. He's really good. I'm trying to think of cards like Kawhi. I don't think Kawhi is a top five shooting guard. I just really don't think he's that amazing. But yeah, for the two guard spot, I mean, you could even go Glenn Rice. I might come back to this because there's just so many good shooting guards in the game that I honestly don't know who to go with. I mean, Malik Seeley. You know what? I might go Malik Seeley. I think I might go Malik. I think he's really nice at the two defensively. Jump shot isn't my favorite in the world, but just his defense, I think, is super valuable. So yeah, I'll go Malik Seeley as being the fifth and uh, fifth best shooting guard currently in my team. So these are going to be my top five shooting guards. Terry Dishinger, T-Mac, Steve Smith, Ricky Davis, and Malik Seeley. Moving on to the small forwards. Once again, I'm going to go best to worst. I think that's just a little bit easier for my brain uh, to handle. Yeah, AK-47, though, I do think is the best small forward in the game. I really don't think it's that close. I mean, I know Bill Russell, Dave Cowens is really good, but AK is just such a beast on both ends of the ball. He's got great dribble six. He's got an amazing jump shot that's super quick, and I feel like pretty easy to time once you get it down. He's got the Trey Young leaner, which is the best leaner in the game. He's got elite, elite defensive stats. I mean, he's still one of the best defensive cards in the game, while being one of the best offensive cards. I think you have to have AK easily in your top three, but I would say for most people, he should be your number one. Now, for number two and number three, it's really between Dave Cowens and Bill Russell. I'm going to put Bill Russell at two and Dave Cowens at three because I don't really know many people that actually have this Dave Cowens card. I only know if I think like two or three people that have actually gotten this far. I do want to show you guys the comparison because they're very similar at the small four position. I mean, wingspan height goes to Bill Russell by a decent amount. Their stats go to Bill Russell, not by a crazy amount. He's maybe slightly better stats and badges wise because badge count, I mean, pretty much the same. I mean, Dave Cowens got four more on gold defensively. I mean, he's got Hall of Fame chase on artists, which is the only extra Hoff badge he has over him on the defensive end. You know, maybe Dave Cowan's got like corner specialist on Hoff and he's got a couple finishing one on Hall of Fame. But really, I think they're so close stats and badges wise. When we go to the animations, jump shot wise, I think Dave Cowan's might have slightly better of a jump shot and then maybe better six. So I don't know. It's really close between uh, between Cowens and Bill Russell for me. So let me know in the comment section down below. Who do you guys think is the better small forward between Bill Russell and Dave Cowens? I think for now, I'll just leave Dave at number three and Bill Russell at number two because not that many people actually have these car or have a Dave Cowens. So I don't want to I don't really want to put him over Bill Russell, at least at this stage in my team. Purvis Elson, I do think is going to be the fourth best small forward. I think he's so, so nice at that uh, at the small forward position. Just all around is an absolute beast on both offense and defense. Now, I will talk about Jonathan Bender here in a second because I think it's going to be between Kuzma and Jonathan Bender for the fifth best small forward in the game. There's also cards like Jonathan Isaac who are really good on the defensive end, Danny Ferry. Those are kind of my kind of like my honorable mentions for that fifth and final spot. I think for me, I will go Jonathan Bender. I still think him being seven foot with that good of a jump shot and really good movement is super overpowered and glitchy. But if you don't want to count, if you don't want to count Dave Cowens, then I'd probably move Purvis Elson to three Jonathan Bender to four and then I would probably go with Kuzma Mike Bansom or like Jonathan Isaac I, I'd probably go Kuzma because I think he's so nice on the offensive end yeah these are going to be my top five small forwards in the game Galaxy Simple AK-47 at one Bill Russell Dave Cowens Purvis Elson and the pink diamond Jonathan Bender looking at the power forwards I mean number one is going to be super obvious that's going to be the pink diamond taco fall I mean just one of the more more broken overpower cards in the game I don't even have to look at his stats and badges we all just know how overpowered he is now for number two 
This is where it gets really close because I consider, at least for me, I consider Kareem, Kristaps, and Dikembe to be more of a center than they are power forward. So I'm not really counting those cards as power forwards, at least in my eyes. So for me personally, I would put Dwight at the number two spot. I'm a, I know that might sound crazy to say, but I think he's a better card slightly over a Dark Matter Drop or a Dark Matter uh, Hakeem Olajuwon. I think those are the next two guys. So I'd probably go Drop at number, I think Drop or maybe Hakeem. I'm not exactly sure who I do like more. So I'll go Drob at three and then I'll go Hakeem at uh, four. But I think these three guys can all really be changed whatever order you want to. But like I mentioned, I just don't know. Do I view Kareem, Kristaps, Dikembe as power forwards? I just don't know because I think they're so much better at the center spot. That's why it's a little bit tricky. I think what I might do is put Kristaps as a power forward because I think he's more of a power forward than Dikembe or Kareem. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide Hakeem to the five, put Dirob to the four, Dwight to the three, and then put Kristaps in at number two because I do think Kristaps is slightly better at power forward than like a Dikembe, than like a uh, Dikembe and Kareem. I think those cards are more for the center position. So these are going to be my top five power forwards in the game. I know I really didn't go over their cards stats and badges and their animations but Dwight's super good in the defensive end and I don't hate his jump shot Kristaps is one of the best stretching bigs in the game super elite seven foot three card d Robs is very well rounded and same thing with Akeem Olajuwon but these are going to be my top five power forwards in the game Taco Fall, Kristaps, Dwight, d Rob, and Hakeem and then for the top five centers number one is going to be that man the Galli Simple Yao Ming I don't think it's really up for debate I just think at the center position he is so so overpowered and then for the second best I do think it's actually Dikembe. I think Kristaps is a better card than Dikembe because I think Kristaps is so much better at the power four position because of his jump shot. But I do think actually at the center spot, I would take Dikembe over Kristaps just because of his defensive mainly and also does have an amazing player model. And I really like Dikembe's release, maybe not as much as Kristaps's, but I think his defense and his athleticism and his player model just makes him slightly better at the center spot. But I do have Porzingis at number three. I think once again, just an amazing stretch big. He can play power forward. He can play center and be a top three card at both of those spots for number four is it crazy to put that peter card i think he's so nice at the center position because i was thinking going peter at four and then going with cream at five is that crazy to say I think I'm missing somebody at the at the five. I don't know who I'm missing. I don't think I'm missing anybody, right? Because I think Peter's super good. I like him more than Cream. He's got that really good player model, and I think he's got a way better jump shot than Cream. And he's gonna play just as good as defense with his seven foot ten wingspan and an elite player model in the game. So once again, I'm not really counting, you know, the uh, the Dwight's, the D Robs, and the Hakeem's as the center. I think these three are definitely power forwards in the game. And then I think Kristaps, you know, Dikembe, Kareem are more of like centers, but I do think Kristaps more people will run him at the power forward spot but yeah guys these are going to be my top five cards at e posi uh, each position in the game going over the point guards once again you guys can see right here jordan sean livingston jimmy butler Caden booker shooting guards is going to be terry t max steve ricky davis and malik seeley small forwards is going to be ak bill russell dave cowens purvis elson jonathan bender the power forwards is going to be taco fall chris Stops, dwight d rob and hakeem and then for the centers is going to be yao ming dikembe chris Stops, the peter card and then the uh, dark matter Cream will do jabbar but let me know in the comment section down below if there's any other cards you guys would put into these top fives because i'm sure it, it all comes down to opinion like it really just comes down to your preference your play style and what cards you guys do prefer so let me know what you guys would change about my top fives because i'm sure you guys will have different cards especially like the number five spot for point guards i think like one through four maybe one through three is pretty obvious same thing for shooting guards but then for like four and five for a lot of these can really be you know interchangeable so let me know what you guys would do with my top fives and let me know your guys favorite card at each position in the game right now but i'll catch you guys in the next one peace